What's up guys, welcome back to the forest and I've just installed a new patch. So we're sitting on version 0.03 at the moment. Um, I've already went ahead and started building all the new structures that you can build. And uh, yeah, so this is the first thing I want to show you. Uh, this is the new cabin. It's got a, a floor now, which is pretty good. It kind of shit me that I went to the trouble of getting 84 logs or 82 logs. And it had no floor. Or a door. Um, you can see that you can save here now, which is pretty good. It makes the uh, cabin a little bit more useful than it used to be. And it's also got this like uh, hinged door, uh, which can be a bit buggy, but uh, it's a nice little touch, I guess. Um, if you do go through it at the wrong angle and at the right speed, you can actually get flung up into the air, which is uh, pretty bad. Yeah, this is one bad thing I hate about it as well. That is a fire pit. It's currently sitting on the actual floor instead of on the floorboards, which sucks. And this is a new, uh, I wouldn't say new since it was in the old game, in the old version. Uh, this is just a bench, which is also uh, not spawning in the right area. So, we'll just go outside real quick. And I will show you. Uh, there we go. So that's that's the bench that was inside. This is what it should look like. It was in the previous uh, version, but it, instead of being underneath uh, the furniture section, it was actually put into the storage section, which uh, didn't make sense, but I'm glad that they did fix that. Uh, this is a stick holder, which is similar to the log holder except it holds sticks. It holds about I think 10 sticks or maybe a little bit more than that. Um, and it, it can be quite useful. Um, it's it's nice to stock, stock up on sticks and all that just so you have uh, some some backup supplies in case you want to get building. Um, another thing they did optimize the game a, a little bit more. It's uh, It feels a lot smoother than their first patch. Um, it runs a lot smoother, uh, you're getting pretty good frame rate, and uh, I don't have the most beast computer, so so you guys out there with uh, lower end lower, lower end computers and lower end laptops, um, you guys should be uh, getting better frame rates with this with this update, which is pretty good. Um, it's no normal birds mod, so these birds still do cause a little bit of lag. I do get some frame drops here and there, but uh, it will all be fixed once Andrew releases the next uh, the next patch for normal birds. Ho hopefully he still does, considering he works for uh, works for the forest dev team now. Um, there there is a uh, a secret item that was put on the plane. And we managed to pick that up. This is the pedometer. It measures it measures how much uh, how much steps you've taken. Currently, I've taken 266. Um, it's pretty good, pretty accurate, but I don't see any practical uses for it at the moment. Maybe they have stuff in store. Um, you can see inside there on the uh, just below the steps, there is a calorie counter and a fluid counter. And then on the top, there's also a heart rate, uh, heart rate monitor. So it could signal that in uh, future versions of this game, you will be able to monitor your uh, your vitals, which is pretty awesome. So that's probably just a placeholder for for that update. We'll close that down. There is a bug that happens with uh, with your items. They've added better motion blur to your um, to your handheld held items. So sometimes uh, whatever you've got equipped actually gets blurred out but quick fix is just walk around for a bit, unequip everything and all that um, the inventory glitch glitches are all fixed besides uh, being able to drop this pick the hand up being able to drop this and then grabbing it and making it a double axe if I can actually do this Okay, can't do it. Let's try it over here. 
Um, if you guys don't know, you can pick up two axes at the same time, and then it uh, ends up being a double axe. So if you cut down this tree, uh, it counts it as two trees, and it drops twice the amount of logs. Um, that's how I ended up building this cabin within about 10-15 minutes. Um, maybe even shorter than that. Um, besides that, there is the houseboat which um, I haven't had any luck building as of yet so uh, there are new effigies if I'll show you the new effigies we've got the simple effigy here which is a, just a single header on a, on a stick um, and we've got an arm effigy here which is just arms and uh, whatever so it's good to get a, uh, get rid of your, your spare uh, cannibal parts so nice that we can actually utilize every part of a cannibal to, to make an effigy. Um, ooh, crap, my health. Not my health. I need to eat something. We'll just get our energy up so we can run around and look for something. Um, yeah, besides all the stuff that you can build, uh, you can actually... You can tell that they've added, like, new ch uh, minor texture details and they've added uh, new sounds, so the, the thunder sounds are randomized um, which sounds pretty good uh, what else they've added a whole lot of things into the caves just um, just noises and like uh, they've put bats they've got these hanging rope things that you can pick up I will actually try to go to a cave now once we cook this food and I will show you guys. Um, Alright. I'm not too sure what I think about this patch. Um, I wouldn't really consider it a, ma a major patch. Um, oh, I should have killed that. That's alright. But, uh, you can't really expect much from in, like an in, in-development game. It's, they're still trying to figure out the kinks and what direction they want to go in and all that. Um, so you, you really got to have patience with pre-alpha games. Alright, cool. So, let's get our axe out and walk we'll over for a little run. Uh, I've completely forgotten where, I, <laughs> where I've built and where the nearest cave is. Is that... Alright, so the nearest cave should be up this way. Uh, spider web. Okay. Um, oh yeah, there is one thing I want to show you as well. In the options, you can actually change the color grading. So you can, oh, you can change the color scheme some, just a little bit. Actually, not a little bit, a lot. Um, Epic makes it a lot more vibrant and like vivid. The greens are really bright, but uh, I don't like the uh, the way that looks. So it's really up to you, it's, it's your preference, whatever looks good for you. Uh, my favorite is Blockbuster or Blockbuster Warm. It just makes everything look a bit more earthy and green, which is what you're aiming for when you're playing a forest game. Um, so go up here, there should be a cave right there. Okay guys, so this is the cave that you used to spawn out of. Uh, when he died in the first version, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we've got a flashlight, so I'll just pull that down. Yeah, there's more flashlights here. If you guys can see that, but you can't pick them up. All right, that didn't give us double axe. That's okay. Did you hear that? That is a bat. Uh, we can't see it though. That's okay. Oh, oh shit! I need that. Okay, um, something else they added, which I forgot to mention, was at the main menu you can actually uh, type in vegan mode, and it enables uh, peaceful mode. So all the cannibals are gone. You're free to explore as much as you want. And, uh, it's pretty good if you want to explore the caves, but uh, I don't see people utilizing that too much. Um, that's right, you got a no clip through here. Alright. 
So let's quickly run through here. Um, they did say that there's a new light source that they put in the caves, and it was a. Uh, It's it's a laptop, so <clears throat> there's a laptop somewhere um, in this cave. I haven't gotten the chance to explore really, but uh, this is oh thank God it's here. All right, this is something else that they've added. It's rope, which I can see us using for building maybe sails or traps. Maybe it'll be for traps. But it's. Uh, you can't really do anything with it now because it doesn't go into your inventory. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I can't build the the houseboat. Like it's only my instance like my game for some reason. But I've had no luck at all building the houseboat. So I'm sorry if you guys tuned in to see that. But uh, yeah, it's currently not buildable. It's probably still just a placeholder and then probably but in the in the patch notes they said that uh, in the patch notes they said oh no could be there they said that um, it was buildable it's just extremely buggy and uh, it has it has a high chance of sinking which is uh, pretty bad considering it takes um, how much logs does it take let's go houseboat. 125. That is a lot of work, um, and for a buggy, a buggy thing, we can't, we won't invest our time in making one. Um, as you can see, if I do press it, it, it can't. There is no placeholder, so get some batteries for this. Um, my light's getting more dim. That's okay. Um, what was I saying? Okay. We'll just check if those things are here. As you can see, the tentacled monsters aren't here. Um, but I can't see anything. Come on, lighter. Okay. Does it look like they've reduced the, uh, the distance that the lighter it kind of does look like it. I didn't read anything about it in the patch notes. Maybe this is just a darker, darker portion of the cave. Oh, what's that? Okay. So, these caves are pretty, pretty peaceful without the cannibals. So they've just turned it into a survival simulator more like it. Um, which is okay, I guess, but without that added fear, or without that added enemy, it's uh, no real fun. Okay, so there's more string here, which is pretty cool, and it respawns every time you are uh, you load out and you load back in. Um, if you guys heard that, that is a bat. Um, I can't find a laptop just yet. Maybe it's. Uh, Deeper within the caves. All right. No, uh, this way goes upwards. If I remember correctly, this gets to that dead end where you can take a right. Um, so this left is a dead end, but we'll. All right. So we've got two more. Two more more circuit boards. Um, they were always there though, so we'll go up here. We'll check if anything new has been added. Um, there's usually a bunch of uh, there's usually a bunch of cannibals up here, but because of safe mode, they're all gone. Um, okay, cool. So there's nothing new up that end. We'll head down towards the deeper part of the caves with the uh, the boob monster, the four boobed monster. Um, the sounds are a lot better. Um, not too sure what else they've added. I, I had a quick skim through the uh, patch notes and 
there were a few interesting... Ah, the yacht, yes. Uh, the yacht gets spawned in a different location, in a random location, more like it. Wait, wait a second. Okay. I've lost where... Okay, so we came from the... That goes up to the top. That's an exit. This is the way we're going. Um, yes, this is the way we're going. Okay, that's new. Um, so that's a chair. One of the chairs from the uh, from the plane. That's odd. I've still had no luck in finding the front half of the plane. I know it is possible, but uh, why does this look so familiar? I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, no, I'm going the right way. Okay, cool. Um, I'll just get up here real quick. Okay. Um. Oh no, we backtracked. My mistake. I'm sorry, guys. Um, they did fix the Molotovs. Uh, not the actual glitch, glitch, oh hang on, maybe they did five. Yeah, okay, so they fixed the infinite molotovs. We'll equip this. And we'll try to unequip it and see if it still drops it. Uh, get ready. Yep, still drops it. So they haven't fixed that yet. Casually dying right now. Hey, I'm not losing any health. Well, very minimal health. Okay, so that might be a new glitch, I'm not too sure. Ah, oh, so slow. Look at that. That looks pretty awesome. The shadows look a lot better. They've increased the render distance, not the render distance, the shadow distance, which is pretty good. We're bound to find some food here. Um, it is a bit dark, I can't really see anything. Okay, so they added tracks. There's music that comes on now. They removed that in the last version, which is upsetting. <clears throat> I'll just try to build the houseboat. <clears throat> uh, Alright, so you can build a proper boat, but you can't build the houseboat. They've really got to fade, fade out the uh, the music a bit more properly. It sounds kind of janky. It's just like cut off out of nowhere. Okay, guys. So we've backtracked down back to the house. We we'll explored the rest of that cave. There was nothing in it, um, no laptop or anything. So what we're going to do now is head down to the beach where the yacht used to be. Uh, we'll see if it spawned there. Um, if it hasn't spawned there, then it's spawned randomly, and we'll just walk along the beach until we get to... There we go. Um, we should... Uh, find a cave entrance, and find the deeper cave, uh, that deeper cave where the four-boobed monster is. So, we'll just head towards the beach, which is this way. Um, and we will... We'll see what happens. Um, another thing they added was the cassette player. Um, it has a stop button now, so you can click it once more to stop, which is useful. Because as awesome as that music was, like cutting down trees, that music was pretty awesome. But uh, it was annoying after a while, and it was pretty loud. So the yacht's not here anymore. We'll try build a houseboat um, on the ocean this time. What's this here? Flare. Okay, so I can't build the houseboat. I'm just trying to figure out if, if I'm trying to if I'm doing this wrong. Um, what's that? I'll grab that. Okay, so the, there's a cave entrance here. Um, oh, oh, there it is. Tiny little hole. I really wish we had our flashlight with us. Maybe if we pull out one of these, 
I'm here a bit easier to. So with these Molotovs, if you do go into water, it does get put out. I'm not too sure if it it ends up wasting the Molotov, but uh, wow, that's really tight fit. Okay, let's quickly look for this laptop. Um, besides that, there's really nothing new. Um, there's, I see a light down there. Um, nope, no laptop. Maybe in this corner here. Nope. Uh, still nothing. Getting pretty dark. There we go. Wow. I didn't realize how tight fit this cave was. Um, yeah, so there's honestly nothing special about this patch. Um, it's, it was just small performance fixes, visual stuff, and. Where, where are we? There's a seat there. Oh, okay, so we've popped up back at that place. Now, if you go further up, we'll have a look. I have a feeling like they've remapped. Yeah, I have a feeling like they've remapped the actual cave. Um, I will show you guys picture-in-picture -picture version of this, unless I am completely tripping balls. It's either they remapped the caves or they've randomized the exits and the entrances, so that you can never get a feel for which way is which. Okay, so it was just my navigation skills, so it was uh, a bit faulty. Um, there's really nothing else to show you guys, that's pretty much it. Um, the houseboat unfortunately is not craftable at this moment, but as soon as it is craftable I will make a video for you guys. But uh, I'm, we're going to have to leave it here for now. Um, so I will see you guys in the next one, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, enjoy the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and whatever. Um, comment if you did find anything new, or if I've left anything else out, out, sorry, that uh, I've included in the video. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. It should be Resident Evil. If it's not Resident Evil, then it will be another episode of The Forest, starting new. And I think I will do a few base builds for you guys. So, yeah, let's chuck that there so I don't hurt myself. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, that was weird. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.